<laughs> it's begun. What? She's scaring me. <laughs> hmm. The tree. <laughs> She's free! <laughs> oh my gosh! Let's go, Blady. Blady! Two more places to visit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate this. Wilt, where were you, my guy? <laughs> Dang it! So dumb! Where the heck did they go? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Welt! Where is Welt? Are you serious? Where did he go? He didn't help me! <laughs> Welcome back, beautiful bright stars, to Honkai Star Rail! Oh boy, this is it. Jumping in and gonna check out the Kafka thing. Oh yeah, the interrogation. Oh, hang on. Quick, uh, quick battle here. Yeah. And then we'll jump in. And sorry, before I saw the puzzle, I have to, okay? The the dude, um... Oh. Oh, okay. The dude texted me about the puzzles. I have to do the puzzles when I see them. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna do this. So strange. What? That the door's locked or closed? Oh, let me guess. The gate isn't working? I don't understand. Oh. It's never been locked before. And oh. No one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. <laughs> Are you really from the Divination Commission? Is it possible you were fired? Oh no. Maybe something happened inside? Don't scare me. Master Diviner wouldn't mm. let anything bad happen on her watch. Okay. There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. <sighs> Are you really giving me the runaround right now? Ah, uh, okay. Here oh, the is. locked door. You seem here pretty sharp. Ugh, Oops. Celeron's Sorry. Erosion. What's going on? Great. This gate won't open either. Mm. You've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Jinja for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Shh, Marge, say that quieter. Miss Chingchi, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Oh. Oh, repair. I see. Okay. Took me a second. I see, I see. Wow, you're amazing, Mr. Yang. Heck yeah, he is. Well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate to you. <laughs> I barely uh, noticed that. Anyone here surprised? Anyone? No, not really. Here comes trouble. Yoo hoo! Uh, can't we run around to them for a change? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, thank you for the heal. This is the Matrix of Prescience, a okay. large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. All right. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Mm -hmm. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchi? Yes, please. A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus. <sighs> uh -huh. That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. Does she not know? The book, Glimpses into the Beyond, oh, okay. describes it as... Living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Okay. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Interesting. 
some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation, so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Huh. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. What? Really? They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. Who is Noose? So they're computers? Kinda, yeah. So they're just microchips? Huh. Fascinating. Seems like it. But Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. Yeah, sounds more sophisticated. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from news. Huh. Who is that? Even in Madame Herta's space station. I never saw anything related to news. Okay. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the Why machine not? works, what does it matter whether it's a jade abacus or a computer? Well, in case it breaks, you should know how to fix it, right? <laughs> Just like today. Would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Jing Chue? It makes no difference at all. Who is that? Uh, yes it does. Wait, wait, what? What? We're almost at the Matrix huh? of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. That's a weird sentiment. Sentiment. Mm, that's, that's a weird thing. I don't know. Huh. Okay. Odd. <gasps> oh, 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 it's a hologram. He's a hologram. He's a hologram. It's okay. He's not intimidating. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the heaven and thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fu Shen, <laughs> like all of us. <laughs> <clears throat> It's an utter disaster. How's that for a Divination Commission fortune? The Matrix of Prescience Sucks. has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. Ah, oh, so it is broken. Or losing power, I guess? And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. Mm -hmm. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the seer, the boundless omniscient, bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad, and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. Really? So then what's the point of knowing what's gonna happen? And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron Hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? True. As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Ah, is he coming? Is he gonna be here? Look, help has just arrived. Oh, us. <laughs> uh, duh, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Yeah, I'll work for him. Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. <laughs> so long as I get to know all the notes. Without my permission is a breach of protocol. What? Come on. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. Thank you. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. <laughs> Jing Chue is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. Hmm. Glad to have <laughs> Glad to have us as your errand runners, aren't you? I thought you... I thought you were going to have us escorted out. It's nice to have people I can entrust with difficult matters. Mm -hmm. I'm not like the General, and you don't even belong to my commission. I certainly won't be bossing you around. Oh. 
Why, thank you. No need for the formalities. We heard what the general said. If you need something from us, just say the word. True, I'll do it because he asked me to. <laughs> Very well, then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. Mm -hmm. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience as space terminals. Oh. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Oh, okay. Won't we be breaching... Crap, how do you say that? Wait, uh, Shinjo. Sh Shinjo? Shinjo? Uh, secrets in the process? I don't know anything about this Matrix of Prescience. Yes, but you needn't worry. Are you sure? You have my permission. Okay. Xing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... That's my job. Psst. <clears throat> I hath divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. <laughs> Good attempt, Marge. Just say the magic word. <laughs> what? Uh, Which magic word? Nothing. Uh, the universal one? <laughs> Please? <sighs> What's that mean? I don't know what that word means. Uh, please. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, good enough. Xing Chue, restarting the base terminals will be your responsibility. Oh, and forget everything you saw and heard just now. Her saying please does. <laughs> Is this what I get? No reward and a bunch of extra work? Yeah. <sighs> the Master Diviner wants me to restart the Matrix of Prescience's base terminals. And bring you along for the ride. I know. Your time to shine. Chance to impress the boss. I sense a promotion and a raise. <sighs> I worked so so hard on getting transferred to the repository. It's the best place to slack off and be invisible. Oh, I see. Now I actually have career prospects. This is terrible. Oh, my apologies. If I screw it up, they might fire me. But if I get it done right, they'll send me more work. That's normally how it happens, yeah. I'm gonna ask more questions next time. I could be playing Celestial Jade right now. <clears throat> Jing Yuan. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while, my astral guest. Has it? Felt like I just saw you. <laughs> Thanks to you, the Law Fu has successfully brought Kafka to justice. Mm -hmm. I am truly grateful. There hadn't been a single Stellaron hunter arrest since the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation issued their bounty. Really? <laughs> this is a victory for the Xianzhou. Definitely, but why... huh. So are you guys in the IPC in direct competition? Let's split this huge bounty 50-50. You didn't give us the full picture of your plan for Kafka. Fu Shen's Matrix of Prescience was able to go one step further than Kafka. Mm. To maintain the upper hand, I had to keep it a surprise. Oh, okay. I hope this hasn't made you doubt my sincerity. No, I was just curious as to the reasoning behind it, you know? Uh, next time, maybe ease off on the surprises? <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I promise to be more transparent next time. <laughs> Get it? He's a hologram. <laughs> He's as transparent as he can be. <laughs> At present, Kafka has no intention of speaking, and the Stellaron Hunter's motives remain unknown. Hmm. We must rely on the power of the Divination Commission to unearth the truth. Hmm. Unearth the truth? You mean interrogate Kafka with the Matrix of Prescience? Precisely. The Matrix of Prescience is the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon. It was originally used to calculate navigation routes and predict future events. But the secrets of the Stellaron Hunters cannot remain hidden any longer. <sighs> I have no choice but to move beyond conventional protocol. We must use divination to ascertain Kafka's intent. Hmm. Okay. Everything hinges on restoring the Matrix of Prescience. Hmm. Which is why I would like you to help Diviner Fu complete the setup. Mm-hmm. I am eternally grateful for your assistance. Okay. Because you asked. 
so nicely. <laughs> Without the please, but it's okay. It's your it's your tone. <laughs> it sounds nicer. Oh, oh. Fancy. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I waited for the apple. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Gosh, there's so much to explore and stuff, and maybe I should chill with it, you know? And just get through, like, more story. I can always come back to these places. Well, I mean, I will come back to these places, honestly. Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Whoa. Whoa. Observes the potential of the temporal plane. Uh -huh. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Okay. Cake? You just matched up those symbols. Yeah. Is that it? I guess. The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Hmm. Don't you think? Yeah. Should be that way, honestly. Huh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. I think that's the whole point of having underlings. That's what they're for, right? <laughs> Wait. Oh, repair. Oh. <gasps> uh, let's see. There we go. Oh. Why, why, hello? <laughs> oh, what the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the CN Joe. No? It's an aromaton. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. So why is he having such a difficult time standing? Uh, I feel like it needs a sign saying mortals forbidden or something. Are you sure it won't fly into a rage if we walk past it? We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage prohibited. Called that? Uh, nice. March! You should join the Divination Commission. Quick, do something! I shall. I'll do it. That was a close one. Dang. Just as my calculations predicted. Alrighty then. This must be the spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. I did. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Done. Next. There we are. Oh, let me guess. Nothing to fight? Time, space. I bet the next terminal is energy related. Darn, the karma terminal. 
They say this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships. Beautiful. I do appreciate the easy puzzles. They are Ugh, nice. We did it. Hmm? All three terminals activated. Let's go back to the core and report to the Master Diviner. Okay. I did it, Your Majesty. <laughs> well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient symbols re-illuminating. How'd you guys let it get messed up? Like, that was a lot. <laughs> I think only one was active? Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. Oh? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Mm, is this really necessary? Yes, Kafka. I said I'd cooperate with you. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals. Especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. Fair point. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth. And they're far more effective than a conversation. Is it just me or is Kafka's eyes different? She didn't have pupils before, but now she does? Whoa, what the... what happened? Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. She looks so different with pupils now. Her eyes are completely different. Her eyes were scary before. <laughs> oh, this is cool. What happened? All oh, for that? Well, not what you were expecting. What'd you find out? I can't believe it. What? Spill the beans! But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. What did you see? What did you do? Has Kafka pulled one over on us again? What did you see? Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you... It's you! What? I mean, yeah, I have one. Oh. Oh. Huh. Absurd! I'd never have thought it. Oh, wait, but no- Wait, 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 wait. But we didn't mess with it here. What just happened? Tell us what's going on. I sense more foo whatever riddles on the horizon. Yeah, tell us what's going on. Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the General immediately. Please excuse me. Wait, you're just gonna leave her alone with me? I don't think that's a good idea. <gasps> you go ask her. You're gonna come with me, right, Welt? You're not gonna leave me? <laughs> I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Uh-huh. You can be by my side, please. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> you go. I don't want to talk to that woman. <laughs> okay. Be careful, though. Don't get fooled by her again. Are you kidding? I'm an expert now. Got it. Fool me twice? Shame on me. Nah, you're the one more likely to get fooled. <laughs> Fool you what now? Ugh, stop it. I'm getting Fu Shuen vibes. You've never heard of the saying? Okay, fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Well, you best stay right here. Kind of come closer, if, please. <laughs> if there are questions you want Kafka to answer, now's the time. Yeah. There are so many things I want to ask. Actually, I don't have anything to ask her. Is there anything you want to know? There are mm. many things I want to know, but they can wait. Are you sure? Your questions might be better than mine. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. 
Hi. Hi, different Kafka. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. You have. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Don't act like we're friends. Are you alright? Are you hurt? You don't look like you're in a sorry state to me. <laughs> True. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. I mean, it, it just looks like you knew this was going to happen from the start, so you're just kind of going for the ride, you know? I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Mm. Worth waiting for, don't you think? I guess. You seem to have a lot to ask me. Mm-hmm. What is your objective? Are you really innocent? What did she see? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Interesting. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. I only had three questions. Three questions. Are you ready to hear my answer? Yeah. Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But huh. if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Okay. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You huh. know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Two, I still don't. <laughs> someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. Oh! A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Whoa. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. Dang. Master Viner is in a hurry to find the general, presumably to inform him of this fact. Right. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows, because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw oh. the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. Uh -huh. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. Hmm. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> what? If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? <laughs> Did she call him Blady? <laughs> That's cute. We're here for you. Huh? For us? You're lying. Remain silent. Th this is what I get? I don't get to ask why? Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters <sighs> appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. Okay. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. Huh. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. Hmm. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. What? That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. Okay. That's all sounding great for me, but why would Elio want something like that? What do you think? Huh. Surprised? 
Yeah. The notorious Stellaron Hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Cienjo? Yeah. Huh. Quite the plot twist, don't you think? Yeah, kind of a disappointing one. <laughs> what is this future you're talking about? You're lying. Why are you helping me? Like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. Uh-huh. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face <gasps> Nanook the destruction. <gasps> and when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. Yo, okay, okay, I can get behind that. Sounds pretty wicked sweet. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. <laughs> you know, even eons can be killed. Oh, really? In the meantime... <laughs> I am fascinated concurrently at the other end of the Lafu. Oh, hey! hey. Locha! Hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going, it's interesting. <gasps> so, neons can die, huh? Oh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. Why are they talking about this now, too? <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. Oh? I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Uh-uh. Isn't destroying the Eon Yaosha the Alliance's cherished aim? Is that what they're trying to do? Okay, okay. Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. Oh. In that case, huh. let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Dang it. I was hoping he was going to go into it so then I could know. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? The coffin. Oh, uh. this one? <laughs> it's a casket, more commonly known as a coffin. Mm -hmm. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. Better question, who is in there? The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death mm. is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. Oh. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. That's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians mm. and the Videodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star skiffs and then let them drift out into the stars. Huh. They call it the returning. Nice. As for the Videodora, they're more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, 
they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. Hmm. Yeah, isn't that what the little dragon lady said? My mom calls the Vidyadara long scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyadara could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. Hmm. It's true. Only special Vidyata, Vidyahara, Vidya, whatever, can turn into dragons. It's just a legend. I'll say it's true. I do, do know one. Silent but deadly speaks. <laughs> Your mother is right. The Vidyadara are long scions. Vidyadara? They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. Interesting. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. Hmm. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Hmm. Ah. I've heard the story of Long the Permanents and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Hmm. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Fascinating. Every life has its limit. Even the Eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Hmm. Uh... Let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Sorry. A friend? I wouldn't be asking these questions, honestly. No. Oh. Well, oh, sorry. Good, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> the sweetheart. What? <laughs> Miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Hmm. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. He sounds a little agitated at the end there. So if you only met them once, then why did you say yes so solemnly? Hmm. But that's fine. I, I, I shouldn't be nosy. Wait. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Oh. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I've already been through this place. What Why? Oh, that? gosh. What? <gasps> Why not? Was that the what the? Oh, well. Yeah. Mara struck. It looks like someone's hurt. Wait. Let's think before we act. Oh, there is someone over there. Think? Think about what? <laughs> Stab him in the back. Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> what happened to us? Letting you handle it. <laughs> I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. <laughs> Miss, are you okay? What do you think? Uh, I think you're injured. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. A cyborg? Oh. 
Oh, so then you shouldn't be injured. Well, I guess... Uh, okay, anyway. My motor is broken. Oh. I can't move. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Are you a cloud knight? Good. Take me to the Realm Keeping Commission. I, uh... Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. Okay. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Oh! As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. Oh, she's a judge. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. Dang it! I want my Don hung, but this is kind of cool too. <laughs> I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? You know how to fix a motor? Well, it's just... she's a puppet. <laughs> I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. Really? You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? What? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. What kind of healing abilities does he have if he can both do mechanical and organic? <sighs> huh. Curious. Curious indeed. What the? Hey, this guy be freaking sick. <laughs> How? Oh, what kind of <laughs> medical knowledge is this? Yeah. What? What kind of? What? Abundance. What is? Oh. Oh. The eon of abundance. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Very good. We, uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. Oh, nice. The mission continues. She's actually really pretty. Dude, her eyes. Oh, I love the undertones of her hair. What the? That's cute. She's adorable. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. I know it says your name right there, but I don't know how to pronounce that, so can you tell me your name, please? <laughs> I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. Okay. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. Mm hmm. <laughs> if it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange accident? Come with me. Okay. Can she be on our team? <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Whoa! Meanwhile, in the Divination Commission... You know, oh. even eons can be killed. Oh, that's right. This conversation. Yes. Okay. Gosh, the back and forth. Okay. So your plan is to kill an eon. Killing an eon, humans don't have that power. How could an eon possibly be killed? This is what I want to know. Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Okay. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeron the Propagation, okay. Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? I know that one! I know that one and the first one! Ooh. These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. Huh. Currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. Three different ways. Okay, I was expecting one. <laughs> one. Paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide. And the broader path will engulf the narrower one. What? That's how Enna the Order was assimilated. By Shipe the Harmony. 
Oh, order and harmony are very similar. I see. Okay, okay. Two. In a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. Mm hmm. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Hmm. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the abundance. Oh. Oh. So then, the coffin guy. Isn't he a part of the abundance? Uh-oh. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. What? Why does the Sienjo want to kill the abundance? How did Taze that one die? What about Akivili? Did they die at the hands of an Eon? Oh, fudge. I want to know both of these. The middle one, I don't care. As far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yaosher and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the Aeon, they received the blessing that did indeed prevent death. The Ambrosial Arbor. The tree? But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Sienjo. That's when the hunt appeared. Firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever wow. since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaosha, erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. Okay. And that would explain probably Don Hung, because he's he's part of the hunt. Whoa. Okay, what do you okay. Think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> Fascinating indeed. What is going on here? They're the kind of stories that <sighs> folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Why not? What about the third way? Why are you telling me this? Do you believe all this nonsense? Hmm. Hold on. Any minute now. For what? <laughs> it's begun. What? She's scaring me. <laughs> hmm. The tree. <laughs> oh, fudge. <laughs> oh, what? I never did. She's free. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Let's go, Blady. Blady! Two more places to visit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate this. Welt, where were you, my guy? <laughs> Dang it! So dumb! How are we gonna explain this to the Master Diviner? I think. Uh, but the, what the, what's happening with the tree? <laughs> if what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. No? Hey, did she brainwash you? No, I just learned a lot of good info. <laughs> that I kind of understand. Where the heck did they go? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Welt! Where is Welt? Are you serious? Where did he go? He didn't help me. <laughs> Yo, hang on. I want to see this tree. Whoa! That looks so cool! Hang on! I want to make him... Eh. That looks so cool. Why does it look like it's on fire? Oh, hey. <laughs> this is getting interesting and exciting! Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? Uh-huh. How did it grow all of a sudden? So, this is what caused them to have immortal life? At least the Shinjo? Huh. Amazing! Absolutely amazing! Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime! I'm so lucky! What's happening? Maybe someone applied a stronger fertilizer? The Ambrosial Arbor was imbued with some kind of power. Such extraordinary energy. 
It's the Stellaron. Oh, <gasps> for real? Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Whoa. Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Interesting. Oh, that's sick. Dang it, I saw the puzzle. <laughs> It's okay, let's go, let's go. I'm curious, I'm fascinated. We'll just grab stuff quickly and go. Since when were knowledge and wealth mutually exclusive? Dude, I'm so excited. Oh, hold on, hold on. <gasps> Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Dude, Jing Yuan, you need to be here, my guy. <laughs> Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. Hmm? Willing to share? I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Mm hmm Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Hmm. That shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? <laughs> the moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another hmm? Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. Gosh, there's so much, like, happening and lore drop that I don't understand that I'm trying to, like, piece together and I'm getting about maybe, like, 50% of it. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship, and yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There huh? is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. Mm. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. Crazy. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. Really? But huh. why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? I can tell you. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. I'll tell you, it's me. <laughs> But I was right though, earlier when Blade escaped and whatnot, I knew he was gonna come for Kafka, so called that. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? Mm-hmm. I agree. General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traders have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve. Oh. Thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Coming up with a plan again. <laughs> of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. <laughs> From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Hmm. You don't want to be immortal anymore? As ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. Huh? So why have I held back our forces? Why indeed? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. 
<laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. Okay. So you were going along with their plan, I guess? You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Mm. Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. <laughs> we were in need of extra hands. Hello. And the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. <laughs> How could I look the other way? Am I those forces that you still need to... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this butt. <laughs> Listen up, we've got a situation. Let me guess, more errands? <sighs> the general <laughs> smiling again. <laughs> Definitely errands. I gotta say, I really like Jing Yuan's character. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the general. <laughs> Please, That's messed up. we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Yeah. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? True. Where are all your competent people at, eh? <laughs> Obviously, you're not here. <laughs> you... Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. <laughs> Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be Ooh. under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Delve. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? Ooh? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. Now she's excited. She wants to do it now. <laughs> As for our astral friends... Yes? I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. All right. Sounds like a plan. That's what we came here for anyway. <laughs> Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Okay. Orders received, General. Errands received. <laughs> Payment, or we go on strike. <laughs> I'd love to be funny. I think he'll get it, but... Yeah. Understood. Understood. <laughs> Worry not. I know how to repay a favor. Okay. You owe me. Big time. The Sienjo <laughs> has met with a dramatic chain of events. And each of you has chosen to stand by us. Your fearlessness moves me. Mm hmm. Does it? Nevertheless, the enemy is upon us and time is of the essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters. Mm -hmm. Once catastrophe has been averted, we shall discuss this in greater detail. Okay. Miss Ting Yun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Oh, of course, General. I am duty bound. Hmm. She still hasn't grown on me yet. I'll save you for. Oh wait. Uh. Uh. uh do I want to? Oh. Do I want to? Not really. <laughs> That was scary. I was having a snack in the repository when the ambrosial arbor started to grow. Hmm. The trunk suddenly shot right up into the sky. So, the legends were right all along. What legends? Such is life. Full of surprises. Did I miss something? That's why you gotta seize any opportunity to take a break. Who knows when trouble will come knocking at your door. Given what you just saw, you don't seem rattled at all. It'll be fine. Even if the sky collapses, we have the Master Diviner with us to hold it up. Oh, and now we have the General here, too. 
He's not actually here, though, so... What do subordinates hmm. like us have to panic about? Let the big shots worry about the big events. That's the secret to happiness. Hmm. Hmm. I don't agree. Didn't the Master Diviner give you any work to do? She did. She saw me on her way over. She told me to go to the repository and read up on anything related to the Ambrosial Arbor. A simple task like that is only 15 minutes work for me. Oh, easy then. I heard people say even the General has to watch his manners when asking you for help. Pretty impressive. Does he? I don't have much to offer you. Uh, here, take this book. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> okay. He watches his manners with me? I don't think so. He just tells me what to do and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was gonna wait for the Master Diviner to get off work so I could show you around and teach Mr. Yang how to play Celestial Jade. Your kindness is much appreciated, Miss Ching Chu. As for Celestial Jade, <laughs> we'll have to leave it for next time. I know, I know, you've got an important task ahead. Sorry to keep you, priorities are priorities. Well then, get back safely. Remember to come find me an exalting sanctum. Possibly, possibly. <gasps> Yo, what? Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, best for last, best for last. <laughs> I thought I might be relieved of my guiding duties once the Divination Commission affair was over. I know, I thought so too. <laughs> Who would have thought the General would take such a liking to you? <laughs> I suppose I must accompany <laughs> you further. Uh, Fates can be so unpredictable. Yeah. Through thick and thin, we're like two peas in a dangerous pod. Ooh, this could be your moment to shine for the Skyfaring Commission. True. Are you afraid of the danger, Miss Tingyun? The General said there are traitors aboard the ship. Mm hmm. But only someone from the Six Commissions could bring the Stellaron into the Sienjo undetected, let alone plant it within the Ambrosial Arbor. Mm hmm. You mean the General? Nah. You mean the Master Diviner? You mean... Oh, <gasps> Yukong? No, she wouldn't do that. Oh. I don't think the General. She wouldn't do that. She was with... Mm. Mm. I am saying nothing mm. of the sort. Just mm. raising a doubt, that's all. I only know three Please of them. Please be careful, benefactors. Didn't they say there was... There were six? I only know three, right? Huh. I shall, thank you. I understand. The Lafu is in danger, and members of the Six Commissions should stand united. Mm -hmm. You did save my life at Cloudford. Consider this my returning the favor. All right. <sighs> you have quite the sense of humor, benefactors. <laughs> I've encountered more trouble with you than I have with the merchant fleet in ten years. My apologies. It just... It's just attracted to me. <laughs> I'm a magnet. I pull it in. <laughs> I just hope everything is smooth sailing from now on. Please look after me. I'll try my best. You want to leave straight away? Yes. Let me pack some things. I'll be right there. Thank you. At least you're reliable. Hey, what up? <laughs> the Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape Delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. The what? The what? I'd like the you what? to investigate these places. Hang on, okay. Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape Delves? Okay, I'll try and remember those. <laughs> what exactly is the Ambrosial Arbor? It is an ancient artifact that was planted on the Sienjo Lafu by mm -hmm. Yausha, the Eon of Abundance. Right. It has the power to shape life and subdue death at will. Oh. The ancestors of the Lofu people consumed the fruits of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained endless lifespans. That's how. Thus becoming long life species. Interesting. Oh, sounds like an amazing treasure. No wonder they wanted to reawaken it, I guess. Yes. It was also the bane of everything to come. Aren't you happy about the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? As outsiders, you are unfamiliar with the history of the Sienjo. Mm -hmm. I cannot blame you for asking a question like this. Let me tell you a story. <gasps> story time! Long ago, before the Sienjo took to the skies, mm -hmm. our ancestors lived on the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo people at that time 
We're a mortal species with a lifespan of fewer than 100 years. Okay, pretty average and normal, nice. There was a time when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence, or the thought of his life's achievements being lost to another after his death. He became fixated on acquiring an elixir of immortality, and focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. Mm. These ships would voyage into deep space, where traces of gods were rumored to exist. Fascinating. Did he... succeed? Yes. And no. Mm. He succeeded because, after an arduous journey, the nine ships eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. Yao Shou's appearance provided for all manner of unfathomable celestial blessings. However, he failed because the fleet has been lost ever since. Oh. And has never been able to return to its home planet. Huh. So I'm assuming the nine ships he sent out are these ones. And you guys have never gone back to your planet. Ah, interesting. That doesn't sound so bad. I mean, the Sanjo people went on a great adventure and got what they wanted in the end. Right? Well, did the people want that or just their ruler? You know, like that. There's a difference there. Oh. Our ancestors once thought so too. But yeah. the miracle of longevity was nothing more than a vain dream. Mm. Take the La Fu, As for example. Always. Immortality seemed like a beautiful thing. But what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. Mm -hmm. In the struggle for survival, the immortals lost their humanity and degenerated into mere beasts. Oh. After paying the price with blood and tears, the Lafu people finally understood that immortality was not a free blessing. But the beginning of a cruel ordeal. Oh snap. In the eras that followed, other beings that had likewise received Yao Shi's blessings repeatedly attacked the Xianzhou in an attempt to take the sacred artifact as their own. Countless atrocities were committed as a result. <sighs> Many Xianzhou comrades who were lucky enough to survive the wars became stricken with Mara, a condition that immortals are susceptible to. Mm. Had it not been for the enlightenment and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter, the Xianzhou alliance you see today would never have existed. Who's the Rainbow Arbiter? Oh, the... Why is that the lawn? Why is that familiar? At this point in the story, I huh. assume you understand the disasters that the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor might bring about? Ah, indeed. Ah, thank you for the story. I appreciate the info. Like, I was super curious. You said there were traitors inside the Lafu. Thousands of years have passed since the Rainbow Arbiter felled the Ambrosial Arbor. Oh, so he was the one that shot the arrow that killed the tree? Most in the Xianzhou regard the arbor as nothing more than the stump of a dead tree. Mm -hmm. Only those familiar with our history and the ancient texts know of its origin. Okay. Our ancestors placed the stump in full view of the people precisely to make it seem unimportant. Oh. But in fact, they sealed it behind layers upon layers of delve enchantment. Even if one travels hmm. toward the Ambrosial Arbor, one will never reach it. Oh. Someone brought a Stellaron into the Sienjo and planted it among the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor. They wish to resurrect it and achieve their hidden goal through external aggression. <laughs> in my opinion, the force that provided the Stellaron and the force that activated it have different objectives. Hmm. Do they? Hmm. Wow. Info dump. That was such great info. Okay. Ooh, my brain. <laughs> I might need a break. Let's delay no longer. We should be moving. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. Thank you. Holy! You with the lore. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
All right, Master Diviner, let's go. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. Hmm? The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. Now it returns to life. The future of the Sien Zhou is difficult to define. Oh, fudge. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kafka escaped. I had long anticipated it. Oh, okay. No biggie. That's fine. <laughs> huh? She's not angry? <laughs> I guess not. Uh, she probably saw it. Is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? I don't know. It's just... Anyway. I'm like, there's like a conundrum. I'm like, if you know what you're gonna do, then like... What's the point of living? <laughs> like, if you know the future, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it would seem so boring if you know what's gonna happen sometimes. At least to me. I like, there's no mystery or surprise in it, you know? Pursuing Kafka <laughs> is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. Yes. Are you leading forces into the Alchemy Commission? From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. Wow, she said that quickly. I didn't... Okay, The yep. Alchemy Commission is where the Sien <laughs> medical research and production take place. Okay. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron Spears may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. Okay. To okay. make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. Oh. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. Yes. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. I'm starting to pick all this up. Oh, thank goodness. My brain is at its limit, though. <laughs> the General wants us to go to the Artisan... Artisanship Commission. He really is a delegator at heart, Sorry. isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. Mm. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. <gasps> Let's go. Bye, Jing Yuan. I didn't even say bye before he disappeared into nothingness. One zero one zero one zero. What? Where are you going? So the star skiff is ahead of us. <laughs> Follow my lead. I didn't know that she would say that. Sorry, that sounded like Sayu. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We we shall continue. My apologies. <laughs> Her little hair. <laughs> Her hair. I the little bunny ears are bouncing. <laughs> general to attend to. Go She's carefully, cute. all of you. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, Master Diviner. Can you <laughs> divine our fortunes for us? Nah, we're Is okay. Is there anything we need to watch out for? Kafka. The Stellaron stuff. Yeah. No need. Mm-hmm. We know. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Lovely. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. Let's go. Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. <laughs> Is there anything else that she had to say? What's the delay? If you're worried about the road ahead, I've already told you. Mm -hmm. The hexagram indicates an auspicious result. Don't believe me? <laughs> Fine. Fate is fickle. Better to believe in yourself than look to the sky. Indeed. Oh, okay. That was it. Excellent. Let's go then. Oh. Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron Corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars gifts to safety? Mm -hmm. Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> 
<laughs> True. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> Just speaking from the heart, that's all. Yeah. The path of Trailblaze doesn't seem to allow for any relaxation either. Mm hmm. Maybe they're here to welcome us? I think they call that complaining from the heart. What? It's just stating facts. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? Hmm. <laughs> Probably not. The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. Oh. It seems like the craftsmen huh. are too afraid to go in. Interesting. But they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Either way, we'll have to go in. Mm -hmm. Let's ask around first. Okay, let's go for a little bit longer, and then I will call it soon. Oh. The gate is closed. <sighs> Another yeah. locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. Can we climb over? A warm reminder, benefactors, I'll give you a boost. that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sienjo as the Divination Commission. Sorry. <laughs> Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Oh! Serious violations may oh. result in exile <laughs> on a barren planet thousands of light years away. Okay, I, I apologize. We shall not break the law. I'm sure they'll be lenient given the circumstances. The general sentence here, surely we get a pass? This is law breaking time. <laughs> Oh, crap. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you. Too late. <laughs> I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. Oh, I see. Okay. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. True. Blech. Wait, what? Oh! What? As expected, the divination was correct. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't repaired the shifting screen today, we'd have all been trapped. We'd be fertilizer by now. Oh, dang. Still, the teleportation range wasn't enough. Mm. They nearly died. Oh. Master Gong Shu. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. I'm not a tourist. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. <laughs> That's okay. Worry no more. The knight in shining armor is here to... <laughs> is here to the rescue. Fret not. I'm the cavalry the general sent for. There comes a time when we all feel sorry. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> you mean the what? general invited you? Is that a joke? Yeah. The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? I know, right? <laughs> There's been a serious <laughs> incident butt. in the Artisanship Commission. <laughs> Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. It's not a joke, okay? It's unfortunately the truth. <laughs> You misunderstand, young sir. We <laughs> genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? What are you doing out here? What happened in there? You should leave. Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Mm. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. Mm. Thanks for the advice. There's been some kind of botanical disaster. Mm. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread hmm. everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. 
Oh. I don't get it. Whoa. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? Interesting. You should the leave. The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Mm. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. What? Why? I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. We can try to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Exactly. Good question, March. Same as I had. To save his research data? Project deadline approaching? Did none of you try to stop him? We didn't have time. We okay. were scrambling for our lives. If I had an extra pair of arms, maybe I could have tried. Ah. Dang, those extra pair of arms could have been useful. <laughs> I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he had already vanished. Hmm. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? Mm-hmm. 100%. The General sent us. You don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, <gasps> take this Jade Seal with you. Nice. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. That's what you're worried about? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's go. I okay. think this conversation's run its course. Don't worry, Wilt. I wouldn't treat you as such. <laughs> Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. Yes. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? Mm-hmm. It broke? Hmm. Oh. Oh, that looks awesome. Um, actually, yeah, I've been going for a bit. I actually think I'm going to stop it here right before uh, the good stuff. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> um, right before we get into this part of it, but yeah, I just want to keep them short. I want to make sure I have enough energy for all these things, you know, so, and I did just yawn, so it's probably a good time to call it anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little tired. Anyway. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Honkai Star Real videos. And feel free to leave a comment uh, down below if you'd like. But I hope you beautiful bright stars have a fantastic rest of your day. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Alright, later!